So I haven't seen Ling Ling, our um, beautiful snow lynx like looking cat for a while. I would say four days, five days, maybe longer. Um, I've been quite worried about him. I've been out here calling for him each day. Sometimes he gets up in the roof, you know, sometimes he might be up in the roof or under the house, but I've called all around for him and I haven't been able to find him. Anyway, I walked out here this morning and um, I think he's left a clue that he's still alive. This is just a dead field mouse here. Unless it was you, Cookie. Is it you? Have you seen Ling Ling? Is this evidence that he's still here? seem that interested in it and normally you're not the one bringing these things anyway fingers crossed you're still okay great Bob Vinci's is worried about lynxing Ling Ling the kitty cat anyway on a lighter note I got some mail got is 300 mil 300 mil no uh, m20 m20 threaded rod have you got your fingers crossed yeah you got your fingers crossed i got my toes crossed as well I let's see yeah Just too big. Just too big. Just too big. Can I try? You can try. You gotta try and get it through that hole. See? No. So M20 is too big. Which means. Something smaller. Man, I'm like a mill too big. Alright, I gotta get a different threaded rod. At least I get an Amazon box. True. So back, that was easy. Shout out to the guys at Bolts Galore in Pakenham. Um, they sorted me out. So, the plans were correct on this one. I needed the, uh, well, to match these wheels, which are the flat free cart tires by Marathon Industries. Um, you need a three quarter inch threaded rod to, uh, to fit through the hole perfectly. Beautiful. They only had high tensile, but that's fine. Um, I'm sure that'll work perfectly for what we're trying to do here. Also picked up the
a bunch of nuts, washers, and lock washers. Lock washers as well. So I've got 10 of each. I think that's more than I need. Now I've just got to see if I've got saddles that'll allow me to attach the threaded rod to, to here. Like so. So the threaded rod will go, oh sorry, the saddles will go here. Let me have a rustle around, see if I've got them. All right. The time has come. Hello. <laughs> We're going to put the wheel onto the axle. Okay. So the combination goes. First you go flat washer. Then nut. Then another nut. Then a flat washer. Then the wheel. Then a flat washer. Then a nut then a lock washer, and then another nut, okay? If you need to rewind that, or maybe Belinda, you can put that up on the screen in steps. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing now, okay? So, I need that. Why? You're sitting on my work, work table. Can I have, oh, uh, this is not a work table, this is a seat. Yeah, do you want me to bring the stick? Do you want me to bring the, the soda? Alright. Yeah, I'll turn on the lights. Yeah, please do turn on the lights. It's good. So, once again, we've got a three quarter inch threaded rod here. It's just cutting. It's put cutting into vest. You want to put the stuff on? Yeah. It's nice and warm. All right, I'll read it out to you. You need a flat washer. What's a flat washer? A flat washer is, is a washer like that. So that goes on first. Right? And then you need a nut. These are all like really warm. They've all been out in the sun, haven't they? I guess so. It's so warm. It feels really nice. Alright. Well, maybe come down a little bit further. Yep. There? Yeah, about that. Yeah. And then another nut. Do that all over again? Mm-hmm. Can I get it started? There we go. Can she be an invention, an invention that, that, that does it for you? And then another flat washer. And then we have a wheel. Now it looks like a cook, like it looks like a, it looks like a s'more or something. But like very shiny. It looks like a what? A s'more, look. A s'more. Look. With the marshmallow and the chocolate and then the two grab crackers. So now the wheel goes on. So this is the point where we probably want to lay it over the thing here. And then the wheel. All right. Okay. Can they see? I don't know. Can you guys see what's going on here? Let's see. I think they can see. Yep. All right. And then we've got... A flat washer, a nut, a lock washer, and a nut. So hopefully there's enough room. It doesn't look like there will be. So I reckon we need to screw these down a bit more. Again? Yeah. Where's the other wheel? Do we have another wheel? Alright, so what did I say? Whoop. Ah. And the nuts hit Dad. Nut. <laughs> 
Alright, so we have flat washer. And then a nut. Nut. I think that's right. Flat washer, nut, lock washer, nut. Yeah. What's a lock washer? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put the lock washer here, the other nut. Chain thing. You know this when you have a keychain and then you, you put it and then you put something on it? Okay, yep. I know what you're talking about. Alright, so I'll, I'll just screw these ones back up further. to get a spanner on that to tighten it up. And then I guess I need one on there too. So I think I need two spanners. Ooh, yeah, I'm so strong. I can lift up big weights. <laughs> this is gonna be embarrassing. What? I don't think I've even got a shit though. What? Oh, here we go. These flies are annoying me. Shit, get there. These flies are annoying me. Turn it this way so the viewers can see. I'll get you to just hold the pole for me. Thanks, baby. Alright, uh, this is a 21. I don't know if that. Wow, that's way too small. That's not gonna work. Alright, well, let's just try and see what happens if I just. It's just gonna spin, isn't it? Uh, You know what? I've got some multi grips. You had an oops egg. Maybe the multi grips will do you know what I mean? It doesn't look like it would be small, but it is. Okay, multi grips. pair of multi grips. Mm. Come on. Ah. What did you do? Feels tight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It doesn't have that much movement in it, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. Cool. You can spin the ball, but you can't spin the so there's one. So we'll do that again times two. <laughs> <laughs> 